are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponent on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 138 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Bo Crusher. And now, introducing his opponent, this man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Good to have you with us tonight from T-Mobile Arena, the home of the NHL's Vegas Golden Knights and the building in which DC shocked some of the MMA world at UFC 226, uh, but this venue will always have a special place for me. This venue holds a special place in my heart. UFC 226, I became the double champion. This is a fight venue that you should want to compete in. A great arena where you can make history. Tonight, you get your chance. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Back to the jab now, no good. Lee's a strike attempt there is blocked. <laughs> Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, high amplitude head kick. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Oh, big left hook there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Beautiful. 
beautiful kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Nice leg kick there by Lee. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? He's back in the clinch. Watch for the knees to start to come down. Another shot lands upstairs. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Let's go. Push forward and use that. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, that couldn't have felt good as he lands the knee to the body. He's a tall fighter, and he's going to have the size advantage against most opposition in this division. Lee gets hit with a kick. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Flush right hand is true. Good night at that landed. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Very good. Throws that body kick. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Lee. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. That's a big strike right there. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. He's like a basketball who picks up twice his size. This guy today is looking at focus miss in his opponent. Punch lands over the top. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice one two there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here, and they separate. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Big leg kick lands. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. And again, he lands another punch, DC. He's certainly got the hands going tonight. He is a phenomenal boxer. Just missed with the leg kick. Great work. We won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. Everybody see you working. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range.
Looking to set up a knee of his own. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Lee. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big kick lands. Just misses with the left hook. Leg kick. And they separate. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Beautiful punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. How good is that right hand? Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, big knee there. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is Baby John. John, as I said, the weight difference, I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much, you miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Andy. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Oh, single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Lee. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, nice jab to the head by Lee. Just out of range with that strike. Oh! That kick blocked by Lee. Looks like he's trying to set up a takedown here. There's the attempt. Good punch land. And they separate. Right on the elbow. Body kick land. Oh, that's a good right hand. Big head kick. All right, let us now check out some of the action, DC, and what a display of body striking there in that previous round. I mean, the last time I saw this done at this level was Valentina Shevchenko and Jessica I. Body kick, body kick, body kick. Eventually look for him to go over the top to try to end the fight. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and that 
at some point, these are gonna really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Real quick leg kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Nice strike. There's no give on that leg kick. Man, look at the redness starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would be wise to continue to attack there. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize him. He's coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Misses with that punch. Oh, big left. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Just out of range with that right hook. You got him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses with the right. I mean, that right hand landed square. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Pretty good right hand. Oh, and there he goes working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. What a body. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. Dude's in a shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Nice punch here. Big body kick. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh! Oh! He's trying to fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Trying to get the knees going. Oh, and there he goes again, working off that beautiful jab. He continues to keep his opponent at distance. I mean, keeps him at bay with that beautiful, precise jab. It is like a piston. It goes in and out, and before his opponent can even realize what hit him, he's already hitting him with another one. Right. I love, love watching this man fight because of that beautiful, educated jab. Head kick attempt, unable to find the target. Ooh, what a punch. Back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Punch is blocked. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Punch over the top. Combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landed. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. 
And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Good shots, you hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Throws the right hand there. Big kick. Great rush, he misses. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strike. He gets on the feet, his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, Bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Big head kick. some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound start. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back to the feet now. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and the right time to land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Head kick partially blocked. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, oh, big very knee. Oh, he's hurt fast. He's hurt fast, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent. Trying to stay upright. 
But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Good punch. Beautiful body kick. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. The right hand just misses. And that one certainly found the target. Oh! Oh! Yeah, he found that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard uh, shot. It's uh, another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC. And there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. It is the fifth and final round. Struck over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making him think he's going low and he right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Nice punch, Lens. Nice body. with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Superman punch lands. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt already. Bad. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, huge block! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just out of range with that right hand. He's looking for the... Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Wow. Oh, a huge block there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect. And that one landed perfect. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, big left hook there. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Way to hide that leg kick. That one's the kick. Nice strike. Over and over. You come up, you go down. Enough to take down land. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, side control now. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of making it Very badly. Great punch landed with so much power. 
Real sneaky body kick. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Went for the inside leg kick. One minute to go in the fight. in that kick. Throws a big one. What a fantastic strike. Oh, oh diving punch lands. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground pound him. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys, yeah, and that's going to do it. Thirteen steps in. Unbelievable. Well, you've got to admire the approach there. Just eternally aggressive down the stretch, late in the fight, lands the huge shot cleanly, and clearly hurt his opponent very badly. He wanted to make sure the judges stayed out of this fight. Mission accomplished. inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. 